until the rule is implemented, do you know how long companies will have to comply? Uh, I will, that will be, I believe, part of the rulemaking process. Um, so I expect we'll have more on that once that's completed. Do you have anything to share about how you landed on employers with 100 employees or more? Why not the entire workforce? Well, it was an assessment made by the Department of Labor and the Secretary of Labor. I will say it obviously impacts um, a huge number of people, so we think it will have a enormous impact on businesses, on companies, on communities, and the workforce, but, um, you know, it was a determination made by the Labor Department. And then can you talk about the enforcement body, how robust that's going to be, since we're talking about a huge number of businesses. How are you going to make sure they're complying? And um, I know Jeff Zion said the fine could be up to $14,000 per violation. Mm -hmm. What is a violation? Again, these are all good questions. This has to be included in the rulemaking process. It's about up to, th to be specific, $13,600 uh, per violation, uh, but this is all a part of what would be determined in the coming weeks. And one more on masks. Mm -hmm. um, public health experts, including the former Surgeon General today, Jerome Adams, have said it's not just about vaccinations, that yeah. the, the moves to end masking back in May were premature. Do you have a response to that? Sorry. And also, um, in light of that, are there any efforts coming up to talk about masks again? Because the last we heard, it was you know it kind of confusing that you only need to do it sometimes if it's high transmissibility, um, which is now the case I think nationwide. So do well, you have the, a response? Well, the president. To that? I don't have a response to the former Surgeon General. I will say that factually. Back in May, when we made that announcement, the Delta variant was about 1% of cases. Uh, obviously, things have changed since that period of time. It's incredibly transmissible. And obviously, as we've noted, even as vaccines became widely available to the country, there are still today 80 million people who are not vaccinated. So our responsibility is to continue to take steps that will protect people, save lives. And that's what we're focused on. The president did talk about masks yesterday and fines on airplanes and what would be required in that regard. Also, masking uh, as it relates to schools certainly protects children and kids uh, from transmissibility and the spread of the virus. And what I would say is we do agree it's not just about vaccines. It's, whoa. It's, Okay, I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, it's okay. No worries. <laughs> I didn't know if that was a video game or an alarm or if we should evacuate. Okay. Uh, is urgent. Thank you. Okay, great. So go ahead. Uh, thank you, Jen. To follow up on the call with President Xi last 